PLA filament is great. You see me use it all the time. I've made decorations, a working water pump, a servo gripper and tools. It's great for several reasons. It's inexpensive, you can print with very high speeds, no warping and it's non-toxic. However, it does have its downsides by being very brittle. Sometimes you just want something a little bit more tough and flexible, like this bumper for my radio controlled car. or vibration dampening for your 3D printer. In today's video I will take a look at two flexible filaments, the Esun Elastic and the Tolmon PCTPE. The Isan elastic was vacuum sealed and once the plastic wrapping was out of the way I wanted to see how elastic it really was. And it sure was elastic. The nylon? Not so much. You can see the difference in stiffness, though the nylon is significantly more flexible than the ordinary PLA. Both Danet A8 and the Tevo Tarantula will be printing the Eason Elastic, so I grabbed an empty spool and rolled it up. I heated up the nozzle to 220 degrees and pushed the filament till I could see it coming out the other end. As always, my first test print is the famous Benjaboat, and we are testing two things. Can these awesome, super cheap printers even print with flexible filament? We are also looking if there is a difference between the direct drive of the Anet A8 and the Bowden extruder of the Tevo Tarantula. Almost immediately I could see the tarantula face the common problem of yamming caused by the filament flexing inside the extruder assembly. After a couple of minutes it clearly wasn't printing at all so I stopped the Tevo tarantula and focused on the Anet A8. Even though it was very slow it did successfully print the Benchy with no modifications at all. And this is what a flexible filament is capable of. You can bend it, but it will always return to its original shape. Unlike PLA that shatters, flexible filament will simply absorb the shocks. Alright, let's go back to the tarantula. How do we stop the filament from flexing inside the extruder? This is a very common problem that has been addressed already. I was able to find an extruder clamp with tighter tolerances on Thingiverse. This quick and cheap modification ended up working beautifully, so now even the tarantula can print with a flexible filament. So what can you actually do that is useful? Well, how about these vibration dampening isolators that can be used to reduce the noise level of your printer? You have the Anet 8 on the left and the Tarantula on the right. I think it's safe to say that the Tarantula performed slightly better regarding print quality. Besides vibration dampening, you can use this material to make protective casings for your action cameras. A protective iPhone case. or even customizable bracelets that we used to wear back in the days. But sometimes you need something a little bit more tough and that's when we use the PCTPE nylon filament. I sketched up a bumper for one of my radio controlled cars and printed it out. It came out slightly warped but good enough for it to be tested. It's significantly less flexible than the Eson elastic but still way more flexible than the PLA. It is indeed very tough and doesn't break like PLA would. I feel like there's a whole new world of 3D printing that opens up with these kind of filaments. 
I got them from a Swedish 3D print supplier here in Sweden and yes I know a lot of people have been asking where I'm from in the comment section and I am in fact from Sweden. I will leave all the links in the description below as well as a coupon code for the Amit A8 printer. Let me know in the comments below what you have done with these flexible filaments. See you next time, bye!